For more than two months, millions of Americans have been working from home. For some, that change might become permanent. In tonight's The Rebound Green Country, we're looking at how the pandemic is affecting your ability to make ends meet. And our Corey Duke shares what some people hope Congress will do to help work from home families. The American office looks profoundly different these days. Just ask Eric Pressman, who's sitting outside on his back patio. It's safer to do this right now. I'm happy to do it. Seems like they've overthought it. Eric hasn't been to his office in over two months. And like many workers across the country, he plans to be here for a while. So I don't feel a need to rush back. Um, I don't want to put my, my kids at risk. Turning his home into a home office, though hasn't exactly been cheap. With his kids also going to school at home, Eric had to upgrade his internet plan. $43 more a month. His electric bill is up 40% in the last few weeks. I realized, you know, we're home all day and uh, everyone's on devices and everyone's charging something. And, uh, you know, the heat is on the basement and, you know, we're just using things that I'm not used to. So the question becomes, who pays for those increased costs? Eric has been saving receipts, hoping Congress might increase tax deductions as more Americans are working from home. CPA Arthur Dead Benedictus explained to us most deductions for home offices disappeared in 2018. For those people who are working out of the house, I would go to the employer and try to get you know, reimbursements for your utilities, maybe. There is a silver lining for some in the way of tax relief. Only self-employed workers are still eligible for deductions. If that's you, make sure you designate an area of your home just for business and keep records. But could large scale deductions for Americans working from home return given the current crisis? I think it's harmful, obviously, to the workers who are denied the deduction, but it's really also just a violation of good tax policy principles. Alan Viard is a resident scholar for the American Enterprise Institute. He's been advocating Congress should reinstate the work from home deductions, especially now. Some of these issues of tax policy may seem minor to Congress because they are not as big in dollar terms as some of the other issues they're dealing with. And yet they actually can be important for the people who are affected by them. Well, I figure if I keep track of everything, keep my receipts. Yeah, hopefully, you know, one of these bills that they pass will allow me to deduct some of these expenses that I never would have had. In the meantime, Americans like Eric Pressman will continue to adapt to this normal as the country waits to see how the economy will rebound. Corey Duke, two works for you.